actually giving you my predicted 11 on the Watford game on Saturday. It's been pretty hard for me to predict because there's a lot of people who aren't fit that rhymes. And um, yeah, I'm actually um, quite excited to do this because I haven't run and predicted 11 in God knows how long. And if I do sound a bit strange, I've got really bad tonsillitis because of builders in my house and there's loads of dust around. Dust! Okay, little brain reference. So, um, right, predicted 11 video goes like this. So the starting 11 was pretty simple. Martinez in goal, I mean Martinez. No questions asked, he's in there. You know, he's had a great pre-season, obviously, with Argentina in the, uh, what, what's he called? Copper America, I think it is, or something? I don't know. So, yeah, Romy, he's in there. On concert, we've got Mings, no questions asked. I could have gone for Twan Zabi, but I think Toro Mings is probably going to be picked over Twan Zabi. I'd love to start any of them, really, or any of our centre-backs. So I think um, I think they could all do a job, but I think Mings and Conta is going to be probably the only two who are going to start. And I think Twan Zabi might be on the bench, but Toro Mings could potentially get the captain spot on Saturday's game, so he's going to be in there. Matty Cash at right back again. Brilliant selection in there. We've also got Twan Zebi at right back if we need him. Young probably if we need him. But Matty Cash will get picked over them. So he's in there. Great player class. So in the left back spot. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go for um, Matt Target. He's had not a, not a bad pre-season really. He could have been a lot better. But he's in there. He's our best um, possible left back for that spot. Um, in the midfield, I am going to go for John McGinn or Jacob Ramsey because Emmy Buendia isn't fit enough to start. So that's the reason why. He could be fit to start in the next two days, but we'll have to wait and see. And there is a moth flying around my room. I fucking hate these. Okay, so on to the next. I am going to go for Marvellous Nakamba because I don't think Douglas Louise is even in the country. So that's perfect. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, but I think that's probably a strong midfield, uh, really. Uh, there's no one really I could have gone for in, in those situations. So, um, yeah, I think the midfield could do a good job. And up front, I am going to go for Danny Ings. I think... I, th I think Ollie Watkins is, is out, isn't he? I think he might be. So... He's in there. If he's not, if he's if he is fit to play, then obviously it could be either Ings or Watkins. But I think Danny Ings would um, would get in ahead of Watkins just because of his um, game to goal ratio, and because he's had a good preseason on his first game at the club in preseason, he got a goal. So um, in the left winger spot, I am going to go for Amwal Ghazi on the left. And I'm on the right, I'm going to go for Bertrand Traore. I don't think I can go for Bailey because I think he's not fit enough to start. He's back in training, I know. He was back in training today. So we had to self-isolate, as you know. So he's going to be out of the team. And El Ghazi, it doesn't really matter what wings I put our two wingers on. But I think El Ghazi would be, would be good to pick in the spot, really. And... Uh, he's, he had a great season last season, so hopefully he can continue his form going into uh, this season. And uh, yeah, player control all right, great player. Hopefully he can do the same. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Up the villa and take care.